God bless you, brothers and sisters. This is your sister, Princess, once again. I just want to read this book of uh, Joshua, and so let us use it to pray. May the Lord Almighty answer our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. It says, Now listen. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray, may the Lord Almighty strengthen us to be in His presence. According to the word of the Lord in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, no man shall be able to stand before you in all the days of your life. The same way some Bible book will say, no man shall be able to stand against you. What is that man, that word man? It could be anything. It could be illness. It could be witchcraft attack. It could be lack of job. It could be failures and stagnations. But the Lord is promising Joshua. I will put, up, put you and I in here. The Lord is promising you and myself. That none of these problems will be able to stand against us. The way he has stood with Moses. The same way he will stand with us. Says the Lord God of hosts. He also says here, be strong and courageous. Meaning, don't worry about it. Don't worry I am there. I will take care of it for you. Be strong. What does that mean? In this kingdom, strength is needed. Strength is needed to be able to withstand our adversaries. The adversary is Satan. We're not talking about physical strength here. You first need the spiritual strengthening to be able to be strengthened physically. The physical strength can easily be attacked by the enemy. The spiritual strength, that is where we need to build on. So be strong in the Lord and courageous. So strength and courage in the Lord is what God is talking to us here to make sure that we have it because we will need it. I pray may the Lord give us an understanding of his words. So we're going to pray on this, based on these principles that the Lord gave to Joshua in the book of Joshua. Uh, lest we forget, after Moses died, before Moses died, the Lord commanded Moses to anoint Joshua. And Moses anointed Joshua and poured out his spirit on Joshua. Today, I pray, may the Lord Almighty pour out His Spirit upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord Almighty pour out His presence upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon of the enemy will be able to stand against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will be able to stand against every devices of the enemy. Because the strength and courage of the Lord will be poured into our spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty. We stand up in our behalf. We wage war against anyone who wages war against us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any weapon of enemy torture. That the enemy one who shoots against us. The Lord Almighty will give us the strength. The spiritual strength to be able to withstand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty will strengthen us with prayers. 
we strengthen our prayer life. We strengthen our spiritual life so that the spiritual life will give birth to the physical. And then we'll be able to withstand every devices of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive that strength of the Lord. Receive that courage in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Be strengthened in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be dismayed by the weapons of the enemy. Lack of joy. Failures. Doesn't matter. We all fail at some point. But when we have the strength and courage of the Lord, failure will not stop us. It will only energize us. It will only encourage us to do more, to be better. It will only show us where we had shortcoming so that we can begin to build on it so we can avoid those mistakes that we made in the past. So be strengthened in the Lord. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in all those adversities, it says, count it all joy, those diverse temptations that the enemy brings to us. Count it all joy. Because when you have the joy of the Lord, when you have the strength of the Lord, when you have the courage from, the, from above, all those things will not be able to hold you down. It will only strengthen you, will only encourage you to even get up and be stronger. It will only open your eyes to the devices of the enemy so that you'll be able to prevent it through prayers, through being in God's presence. I encourage you, if you don't know Christ, give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ and begin to ask him to come into you to strengthen your ways. May the Lord Almighty guide you. May the Lord Almighty strengthen you. May the Lord Almighty encourage you, build you, breathe his spirit into you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. My name is Sister Princess from Princess Awaken Ministry. Subscribe to this channel. God bless you. I'll see you next time as the Spirit of God directs.